we all felt very sad, I think. Um, we don't want to leave the building and we don't want to leave our studios. Artists in Auburn scrambling to pack up their paintbrushes and move out. This after the city says they have other plans for the old library art studios. New tonight, CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is in Auburn with details. Tony and Christina, the Carnegie Library here in Auburn is full of history. And since 2000, the old library art studios have been making their mark right here. They host art showings and teach lessons, but now the artists have to find a new place to call home. For nearly 20 years, the Carnegie Library has been the heart of creation. I've been doing artwork since I was 12. But now, the artists at the old library art studios have to go. Every single book on this shelf has a relevancy to my teaching. I've been here 13 years. 13 years? Yes. It, it's been a privilege. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful building. Artist Mara D. Smith explains it all started with a November letter from the Arts Council of Placer County to Auburn City Manager Bob Richardson. In short, the council decided to stop managing the facility and allow the city to take over starting January 1st. So on the 2nd, the artist sent an email to the city. We needed to pay our rent. The city wrote back. I apologize for the la lack of communication on this transition. Saying they needed to repair the building, requiring a down period. In other words, with no artwork around. And we'll have one of my staff get in touch with you so everyone can remove their personal property as conveniently as possible. But after selling her home studio last year, oil painter Linda Green has nowhere to put her supplies. I just don't even know what I'm going to do. And with sculptures, brushes, and memories tucked in every nook, Packing up won't be a speedy process. I thought there would be some um, dialogue. Public Works Director Bernie Schroeder told CBS 13 the city has no lease or contract with the artists themselves, and it needs to carefully assess the physical condition of the building due to reported storm damage. The roof is good, but there's problems with drainage. Schroeder went on to say the city thought Placer Arts had already asked the artists to leave, but Smith says she never got that memo. We're, we're really kind of just not knowing what's going on. Now, the Arts Commission did meet this evening and says it would like to ask the city to give the artists as much time as possible. But Smith says to pack everything up the right way, they need at least a few months. Macy, thanks.